my name is Javia and this is Javia Jewel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, last week I took a bit of a sabbatical. I um, had a bit of problems with editing and then also the weekend for me, like the whole weekend just wasn't absolutely great. I was in a bad mood so I wasn't really feeling like posting but it will never happen again. I promise, I promise, I promise that from now on I'll be constant and consistent. Today, 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 a new week um, and I wanted to take the opportunity to do a bit of a story time as part of getting to know me because my channel is still new. I want to speak about my swimming and being a black swimmer at a time where it almost felt like there were no black swimmers. As of now there's more and it's like a thriving, thriving population but when I was there it was like two people. Let's get right into the video. I'm, also, I'm gonna start off by saying that I have probably the best parents ever and the reason why I say this is because oh my gosh I just realized I'm not wearing my rings. I feel empty. Oh my gosh. They did, they've done everything that they can to make sure that my sister and I stay consistent in the sports that we do. And I appreciate them so much because in a time where pursuing swimming as a black person was not a thing, my parents were making sure that they, I was at every training, I was at every competition, I was, and they were there being busy working for their coin. They were there. It's been an absolute pre pleasure being brought up by the people that I've been brought up by because they taught me hard work and perseverance even when it seems like there's no one on your side so i'm gonna start off from the beginning so what happened was that my mom and her friend realized that they were swimming lessons at the virgin active and they took me to swim and at the same time they learned how to swim so i learned how to swim with my mom i absolutely became one with the water like the swimming teacher was like wow 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 she was made for this and i think yeah it was just, it was like an instant, an instant connection. Me and water became best friends. I started doing competitions when I was four. Um, with my, with my nursery school, which was Toddler's Corner, I think in my vlog, I took you guys there. And, um, this is my first, uh, this was in 2005. Oh no, this was in 2004 and then this one was in 2005. Um, this one is it. I came first, of course. Um, four year old girls, one with, with armbands. So it was um, swimming, uh, like across the pool, like from one end to the other end. I four years old with armbands um, and I came first. So this is my certificate. I don't know if you can see it. I really hope you can see it. It says, it says Javier Mbappe. I hope you can see it. And then I don't know if this is the trophy for this one, but if every single one I got a trophy. So. I have my little trophy and my little first place certificate. I was an absolute star. I mean, come on, from the beginning? Are you serious? <laughs> and then in 2005, okay, now I don't have this trophy because I was feeling nice. I'm always nice, what am I saying? I was, I was being normal Javier. And as a present to one of my uncles, um, to my uncle's wife, I gave her my trophy. So. First, once again, <laughs> what's an absolute star, um, Javier Mbappe, five-year-old girls, one-length crawl, so that's freestyle. And it's crazy, because I didn't actually know it was for freestyle, but if we look into my track record, freestyle's been my best stroke my whole life. <laughs> Freestyle, they are 10 here. So yeah, this is my first place certificate again. I hope you can see it. Javia Mbappe. That surname? <laughs> You're going to be seeing it around the world. I'm telling you. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention the school, but I mean like really who cares? Um so I then moved to Bishop Haven and I started swimming for Bishop Haven. And absolutely like excited like it was just off oh, a thrill but one thing that I do have to say is that it was difficult like it was hard and let me tell you why it was hard it was hard because um so I started swimming and it was fine 
But when you know when people start realizing that you're good at what you do, like you're good at what you do, people really want to bring you down. So I got very, I got bullied. Like, and I think this was the first time that I, I speak about the bullying side of my life. I really don't speak about that side, but I got bullied a lot when I was younger, um, especially by the kids who I swam with, because it was a thing of, um, you know, you're this, I'm a black child. Like, who sees black? Let's be honest with ourselves. Not a lot of people see competitive black swimmers, and at that time it was rarest. So I was a black child who was swimming in a private school. So it was like completely foreign to most of the kids. I got called and I and the crazy thing is that later on in my life, completely different story time for another another day, I got called the same thing. It was like in 2017, I got called the same thing. So um I got called a monkey all the time. Like like and, and if you're black you know that being called a monkey is like very degrading. And I got called a monkey and I got made fun of and people made I was felt so isolated. My swimming teachers knew I was good at swimming, but I had been so bullied that I was like, okay, this is not for me anymore. Like, I'm just not going to do it. As I continued, um, there was a day, I think we had training after school for swimming team. And I did something really stupid, but that was because I didn't want to be there anymore. And I, didn't want, and I wanted people to think, okay, well, she's going she's to swim for a little while, but then stop. So... I didn't want to be there and I didn't want to be put in positions where I felt like I was small. So instead of swimming properly and diving properly, like I knew how to do, because I knew how to swim. Instead of diving properly, I dived and tried to hold onto the wall like kids who don't know how to swim. And as I dived to try to hold onto the wall, I cut my lip. So I have a, you won't probably be able to see it, but I have a scar on my lip here. Like it goes really far down. It's like a really, I have a scar. And that's because I cut my lip on the swimming pool wall. To be honest, I should have been like, you know what? I'm gonna show these kids that <laughs> this black child, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna hear by me. But I didn't, at the time, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to be, shrink myself, you know, make myself smaller. But anyway, after that experience, I got shouted out from my parents in true African fashion. Then I started swimming with what was then called Bishop Baben Seals. And I don't know if she's ever gonna watch this, and I one day hope she watches this, or someone tells her to watch this, but there was a girl at the swimming club named Gabby. Gabby Bartolo, and Gabriella Bartolo, and I started swimming, and she was my first swimming friend in the club. And I say this, and I actually feel like I'm gonna cry, um, because if there was one person who was always nice to me, it was her, and she made me feel so welcome in an environment where I had felt so isolated. So yeah, I'm gonna stop now because I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> okay, um, those are gangster tears. Uh, <laughs> and a real gangster gets five emotional day, first five emotional minutes of the day, and then the rest of the time it's time to hustle. So I'm not gonna cry again. Um. Anyway, so Gab Gabby, if you ever watch this ever in your life, I want to say thank you. You have no idea how much you influenced a small little South African Cameroonian child. Um, at the time, you really, you kept me there, if that makes sense. I probably would have left, but you kept me at swimming because I, I looked forward to seeing your face. So that was really fantastic. So anyway, I swam with the and Seals and then in grade five, six, which and Seals decided that we're going to relocate. So they relocated to my school, which I ended up matriculating in, St. Andrews. I really don't know if I'm allowed to be saying these names, but I also don't care, because when I'm famous, they're going to want to have their name on my back. So, <laughs> I mean, um, before I move on to the St. Andrews part of my start story, Later on in my swimming career at Bishop Bateman, I finally got recognized. After all those years of pain and bullying and all of that, I finally got recognized. And it was in a big way. So, uh, here is my Bishop Bateman sports full colors for swimming. I got full colors. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway. And once again, Javier Mbappe for swimming. Sports full colors.
colors and my certificate was gold. I'll try to put up a picture of what my school uniform looked like in Fisherhaven because I was in the choir so I already was special. <laughs> so we had a completely different school uniform because we were in the choir. Uh, we had we wore these little like purple um, hats because you wore hats. So I wore a little purple hat and then um, a grey blazer. I have my blazer in the cupboard. Can, can you get my blazer? It's in there, like right, this, no, the, this cupboard there. It should be there, yeah, uh-huh, my blazer. So, I don't have the cap anymore, but I have the blazer and it's written on, so it might look a bit graffiti. But we got our own little badges, purple once again, purple badge with the music sign, so it has music and all that stuff. And then you've got purple braiding on your blazer. And that's because I was in the choir. Now, because I got full colors, I've got a letter that says, to whom it may concern, this letter is to certify that Javi Mbappe has been given full colors and may purchase a scroll for swimming. And um, this pupil has permission to have a white cord braiding. So I already had a choir scroll. Then I was gonna get a white scroll that said swimming. And then I was gonna get white braiding on my blazer. I should have got it before I left. Oh. I really should have because that would have been good but I just didn't think of it so anyway I would have had a completely decked out blazer like my blazer would have been it Javi Mbappe and Andrew's Dragons um, just in a certificate of achievement because I had moved from level 1 to level 2 in swimming ha <laughs> ha absolute queen I also got into the karting team um, I don't have any certificate for that I have the jacket, but this was when I swam for the casting team. Um, yeah, uh -huh. I know my face looks disgusting, but that's me when I swam for the casting team. It reminds me of the Durban climate and eating all the food that they'd have at Seagulls and competing and running and taking pictures of Chad Leclerc. I'm sure you can watch. Great on the water work and uh, he's going to try and go for this record, he says 23.7 <laughs> Yes, so at Durban, because it was nationals, Chad Leclerc was there and I met Chad Leclerc at my second Seagulls as well and that was at the time where Chad Leclerc had just won um, the Olympics, his first Olympic gold medal so he was it at that point. He was Mr. Deliciousness. It was after I made it to level two that my parents, now, if you're a swimmer or if you watch the Olympics or anything, you'll know that the swimming costumes that we chill in are not what they wear. They are athletes. And I had always worn like the one that I, like you know, the normal costumes, but they were training ones. Like, not that they weren't expensive. They were just normal training costumes. And after I made it to level two, uh, I don't know if I've been asking for it. I don't think I was asking for it. Okay, no, my mom's like, I was asking for it. <laughs> I was asking for it. And after I made it to level two, my parents got me my first skin. Now, skins are the competitive swimming costume. This is my first one. Um, as you can see, it's black and it has red trimming and it's by Speedo and it had like red and purple and all that stuff. So I really liked it. So this is the one I got. And I mean, let me tell you, these things are not cheap. These things are not cheap, honey. <laughs> and it's tight. This is, it's like putting on your own skin. It is tight. And the reason why I really wanted the skin was because, um, if you know anything about swimming, you know that you have to cut through water. Like you have to go And the other costumes only allow you to cut through water, like on your hair, you know? But skins, because they're longer and they're made with a, with a very tough, Material like that's why I say it's so hard to get into it's made with a completely different material than other swimming costumes and in water It's like It's the water like trickles off it because it allows you to glide and cut through water and your speed and your buoyancy is No, I don't want to say better because if you don't know how to swim and you suck at swimming It's not gonna make you better, but it, it facilitates you in your sport 2014 2013 2015 Javi, I went through a shoulder injury. Um, so that's where kind of swimming now becomes cut off. 
and in my swimming club in December we had Hull Week. At the beginning of the year and end of the year you had Hull Week. Hull Week you swam every day, morning, afternoon, for two hours, sometimes depending on how Theo was feeling, it was like most of the time 10Ks of training and um, yeah it was intense. Oh, it's draining. I'd come home, I'd eat, and I'd sleep. Yeah, eat all his food. I used to, wow, I used to eat. Yo, when I was training, I used to eat. So I'd come home, I'd eat, and I'd sleep, and then I'd wake up, I'd go back to training, come home, eat, sleep. So whole week was where I got injured. Um, so I had trained very hard my whole um, development year, and my muscles, training so hard did not catch up so my shoulder was and because as i said freestyle my best stroke that's where i thrive so my shoulders are really taking the toll so i got a shoulder injury on the shoulder as of now swimming competitively like clouting level one level two three nationals all of that i just didn't do it for the last three years of my high school and that's why i started exercising so that's a different story time that's that in the hat. So that's all of my memorabilia, but I wanted to kind of just speak a little bit about the lessons and give a bit of motivation. So firstly, I'll start with the lessons. I, all I have to say when it comes to doing sports, um, and for me it was swimming as a young black child in a time when black people weren't really swimming. Um, is continue and silence out the noise another thing is push through every trial or circumstance where you feel like you can't because afterwards you'll feel like you can and for me that was the injury i felt like i couldn't continue but now looking back i'm like javier you could have gone back <laughs> you really could have gone back so don't stop when you think you should when you think you should stop stop when you're finished when you know that you're finished when you know that this is no longer something for you, that's when you should stop. For me, the future in swimming is, as I said, going to America in, um, in uni. I'm going to swim there. I'm uh, really excited for varsity swimming. I am so excited. I just, ah, I'm exploding. I'm really excited to do that. And that's another reason with all of this, why I started my swimming school, because I want to teach people how to swim. It's a shameless plug. Shameless. If you need to know how to swim, or you know somebody that needs to know how to swim, or you have a child that needs to swim, you can call me or um, email me. Actually, I'll put my email down in the description box on how to get in contact with me about swimming lessons and all of that. So yeah, we're doing really well. I reached my month goal, so I want to continue to sus um. I can't even think of the word now. I want to continue to my goals. <laughs> Improve. There's a word, but I can't remember it. I want to continue to know it's my goals. So please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your family and friends so that they too can understand that, um, yeah, I was a swimmer. I, I, I am an athlete. That's what I am. So. If you ever doubted it, now you shouldn't. It's been an absolute pleasure, enjoyment, and excitement to have you watch this video and bless you guys with this face and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Mwah. Stay blessed.